Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing with another video, right? I'm probably killing you with videos, but it's fun for me. I get to talk about things that I love, maybe help some people out. That's all cool. I want to talk about a little power washer I'm in love with. Now for me, I work at people's private homes or I work at their private businesses. My customers typically live at their private homes. Obviously we all live in a private home, maybe we've got an apartment or whatever, but I don't do any type of mobile detailing in a parking lot. I don't need to bring water with me. I don't need to bring PAL with me. I actually use my customers' water. I bring my own hoses, all my own connections. I hook up to their water spigot on the outside of the house. If they own their own business, they might have a private parking lot in the back. I'll deal with my, car, my, my client's car in the back. I'm not working in a parking lot. All around people pulling in and out. I got to set cones up so people don't hit me or kill me when I'm trying to work on a car. But I don't bring water and I don't bring power. I don't even own a generator. I don't own one of those Honda EU 2000s. That's, they're fine. They're great. If you need one of those, that's cool. I get customers. You, you want to know what happens to me? I get customers sometimes that call me and say, I live in an apartment and there's no water hookup. There's no electric hookup. I say, hey, sorry, I can't help you. I don't bring water. I don't bring electric. But you know what I say to them? I think outside the box. I'm always, I don't want to lose a potential client, but 99% of my, my clients live at their own home or they're, on, or they're at their own business and I can hook up to their water and power. It's not a problem. They've never given me an issue for it. Half the time I show up at a customer's house, even though I bring my own hose, I'll ask them where the spigot is outside their house so I can hook my hose up to it. You know what they say to me? Hey, Scott, my hose is already hooked up to it. Use my hose if you want. Holy crap, how beautiful. What a wonderful planet. I don't even have to break the hose out of my truck. You don't have to overthink it. Where I come into an issue is with apartments. Apartments don't have water outside. They don't have electric. There's been a couple times i worked for people at an apartment, and I've ran an extension cord into their house if they happen to be on the lower part of the apartment. I need some power to do some paint correction or headlight restoration. I can work around it. It's not a big deal. But typically, I don't work at people's apartments unless they've got water and power. Why do I bring this up? Because here's an interesting little tip for some people. If you don't want to carry water around with you, you don't want to carry electric, and all of a sudden you feel like you're the schmuck on the block, nobody's going to use you, that's just not true. That doesn't happen. But here's the deal. Even when I get a customer who lives in an apartment and they want to use me, they see value in using me, they want my skill set, I say something to them. I say, hey, you live in an apartment, that's a bummer, but do you have a friend? Do you have a mom and dad, an aunt and uncle, a relative that lives relatively close? Can you bring your car to their place and I can work on your car there? Nine times out of ten, my customer who lives in an apartment goes, holy crap, that's a beautiful idea. I get to use you, Scott. I want to use you. I'll just bring my car to my mother's house, my dad's house. You can do it there. I'll hang out with my family while you're working on their car. There's always ways to work around it. And I'm not being cheap by not bringing water because I actually tell my customers, because I don't carry a 200-gallon, 500-gallon tank of water and bring a electric power, uh, an electric generator, I tell them, I don't spend money in that area because to me, I'd rather spend money on products that's truly going to give you value. I can buy more high quality products. I don't have to fill the back of my truck up with stuff that takes up so much room and I can't really bring the products that I need that give me maximum high quality work. And I also tell them, I got private, I've got customers, they're all private, right? They live in their private homes, but they live in gated communities. They live in high-end neighborhoods. The last thing I want to do is show up with a electric power washer running that sucker in their driveway or running a generator and making all that noise. I want to fly under the radar, do my job, give them a high-quality job and get out. I don't want to disturb them and their families. I don't want to disturb their neighbors. I don't want to bring a truck with a trailer and a big huge tank on the back of it. It's just a headache and most of my customers appreciate that I don't bring these these extra pieces of equipment that just become a nuisance. Maybe you got to park the truck in the in the road with a huge trailer on it. Now I'm blocking traffic. I don't want to do that. I want to fly under the radar, right? Get the job done and get out. I want to be quiet. I don't want to be an inconvenience. So I use an electric power washer. This one is made by Greenworks. It's 1500 PSI. Some of you guys might be going, holy crap, I want 3000 PSI. I want 4000. I want to blow the paint right off the side of the car. You don't have to be aggressive. I bought this one. This is made by Greenworks. 1500 PSI. 
more than enough pressure you're ever going to need. I paid $84 for it. It's electric. I don't have to transport fuel with me. I don't have to worry about filling up a generator or an electric or a uh, gas powered washer in their driveway if I run out of fuel and now I've got a fuel hazard. What if I spilled the fuel and it ran down the driveway? Now I could potentially kill their puppies and kittens. It's just a pain in the neck. I don't want to go through it. It's To me it's a hazard transporting fuel. I don't do it and it's not the end of the world. You'll still get plenty of clients. Don't overthink it. It's fine. Your clients will understand. But what do I like about this thing? It's lightweight. It's very tiny, very small. 1500 PSI. I can get the nozzle with 1500 PSI and using the right tip, maybe like a 45 degree tip and lower the pressure, I can get pretty close to the paint to blow off bug guts or whatever without having to scrub it, yet I'm not being dangerous on the paint or ruining the clear coat. If you're using 3000, 4000 PSI and getting this wand too close, you're being way too over aggressive to begin with. That's nuts, that's crazy and I don't overthink it, I go with something tiny. This cost me $84 on Amazon by Greenworks. It's electric. It doesn't make a tremendous amount of noise. When I'm working with the wand and I pull the trigger, it's the only thing this, the only time this thing comes on. It makes a little bit of noise. It's not overpowering. It's not extremely loud in my customer's driveway like a gas-powered power washer. I don't have to worry about bringing fuel with me. When I release the handle, it shuts up. It doesn't talk anymore. It's quiet. It's not like me. It doesn't just keep rambling on and on. So that's my opinion about the Greenworks 1500. Completely appropriate, wonderful if you want to have a power washer, easy to transport. It's got a long cord on it. I think it's like 30 feet long to be able to plug it in. The only problem with the Greenworks that I'm kind of... It's not a problem because it's an easy fix, but I just wanted to sh throw it out to you. The hose that it comes with is 25 feet long. I don't like this thing. I actually bought another hose. It's about 50 feet long. It attaches to the Greenworks power washer just fine. Also, too, I would re recommend maybe putting some quick disconnects on the end so you're not unscrewing this and unscrewing it from the wand. Just easier to have quick disconnects. You can just plug it in. Away you go. No problem. Real easy to use. But the Greenworks 1500 PSI, plenty of power, plenty of pressure, completely appropriate, not overkill. I can clean out the inside of wheel wells. I can blow out the undercarriage in a car if I'm doing undercarriage detailing. Yes, I offer that, believe it or not. It's a great way to make some extra money. Not a lot of detailers do it. But I like the Greenworks 1500, the 1500 PSI. Easy to carry around, transport, doesn't take up a lot of room. It's quiet. It's not a nuisance for my clients, their neighbors, I'm whisper quiet in their driveway when I'm working on their car. Again, I'm working in high-end neighborhoods, gated developments. I don't want to bring all this crap with me where, you know, the next thing I know, I, I may be working at my client's home at 9 o'clock in the morning. Maybe the neighbor works at night. He's trying to sleep and I'm working with a gas-powered washer and that guy tells my client, hey, can you tell Scott to come at another time? I don't want to deal with it. It's a pain in the butt. Do I use a power washer all the time? No, not all the time. Sometimes I, I don't need to use this. I can just use free flowing water with a hose and a nozzle. But if I want some pressure and I want some more power, this Greenworks 1500 PSI for $84 I think I spent, $89 on Amazon two days later. It was to me, free shipping. It's great. It's easy to transport, easy to store. It doesn't get in the way. I like it. You might want to look into it. It's a cool little, cool little power washer. Again, get a longer extension horse, extension wand on it. This hose, get like a 40 footer or a 50 footer. So when you put it down, you don't have to keep picking it up and walking it around the car with you because this hose is just too short, 25 feet long. When you're working on a big truck or SUV, you're not going to be able to get all the way around it without having to pick this thing up and walk it around like you're carrying, you know, a small baby around with you all the time. Get it out of the equation. Some quick disconnects can help you too, make your life a little bit easier. But I like it, Greenworks 1500, I give it two thumbs up for auto detailing. High quality, I don't know, I can't talk about that, I've owned this thing for about three years. I'm pretty good on my equipment, but it's never given up on me. If the thing lasted another year for $84, what do I care, I'll throw it away and buy another one. I know some guys out there want to buy Krenzel, they want to buy $3,000 electric power washers, that's cool, that's wonderful, that's high quality stuff. I don't need it mobile detailing. I get the same amount of pressure, works just fine for me, it's whisper quiet. You guys don't have to break the bank if you want to get a power washer. Again, think about it, unless you're doing 
like big mobile washings at a car dealership or something like that, or you're doing parking lot cleaning, you need to bring water with you, an electric power washer, that's different. I'm not interested in that game. God bless you guys, that's a lot of hard work. But there's a simple little video, not simple, right? Nothing simple with me. But the green works, $1,584. How can you go wrong? Last a couple of years, throw it away, buy another one. What's the big deal? I appreciate it, guys. Until next time, be safe, love one another. I appreciate all your support. See you next time. Take care. Bye.